Yeah, welcome back to Career Build Series, episode 150. And so we're up at the Arctic. Uh, last mission we did was uh, the Rotodyne to bring a container up. A um, bunch of the last couple videos, though, were build videos. So I'm going to try to get away from building for at least a couple videos here so that we can get back into some gameplay um, in career. And so I just slept in the bed, and a nice mission popped up. A crew boat radioed for help. Extinguish all fires and rescue five casualties northwest of Mount Paradise uh, to a hospital. And so what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm, what is it, five, five. So I think what I'm actually going to do is use the Remora. Uh, Remora is very fast. Um, if we look at our weather, you can see our weather is nice and calm. Uh, Remora hasn't had a real good... Um, rescue test yet so I think that will be um, you know something nice to check out so let's go uh, take remora you know I like to kind of break up um, what I'm using for equipment and so let's use remora um, one issue with using remora is going to be heater and so let's throw a heater on there really quick um, you know if you're operating up in the Arctic that is definitely going to be something you have to always consider is do I am I going to be able to keep the people warm because we've run into problems before with that where um, we've ended up <laughs> killing people uh, made made necessary sacrifices let's call it let's call it that um, and so we don't want to sacrifice all the people again and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of hide it in here a little bit um, Let's go put a temperature sensor in here. We'll make this very simple. Um, make a microcontroller. And then this way, um, I usually don't do an auto heater, but I'm going to do it this time. Um, make a auto heater. And part of the reason why I'm making an auto heater is I don't have a lot of panel space in this, so you know sometimes use automation for that and then that's an output to here and then I forget what temperature you start to freeze to death at but um, you see what um, let's do uh, Fahrenheit to Celsius I work better in Fahrenheit. So let's say about 15 if it's um, if it's less than 15. Um, it will turn on the heater. All right, so if temperature is less than 15, it's going to click on the heater. So that's a real simple simple and easy micro to make to just um, let me just look where my micros are. So I have one long one right here. Okay, so let's go. I can't see if it's flipped up or not. There we go. And let's put it there. Merge that up. Connect all the nodes. And we should be ready to go. Um, you know, a lot of... One of the reasons why... Another reason why I built this boat um, the way I did was... You know, the speed element of this boat is really convenient. Um, I don't like things to be, you know, unrealistic, but um, this is a nice, very high speed, and that will allow me to um, go do rescues like this and, and have still have a sea vehicle that is viable. Often you get into a situation where your sea vehicles are not viable. Why are these not connected? To, they are connected to electricity. I'm just checking all my electrical connections here. Uh, okay, that's the master there. I want that on Matt. Which okay, let me look. I'm just seeing where I put my battery. So this is the this is where the battery connects to the relay. This is where the master power will come on, and so we'll hook that to the master side, and that will allow us to have um, our cooling or our heating rather, so that we are able to um, go to this rescue and keep these people heated up. And so let's test it really quick. I'm going to turn on the master. Um, our systems and you see we get the heating icon on the right there so we're good to go here see that my spotlights go up my um, my lighting uh, boom didn't go up I forget if I meant to set that to the um, 
two occupied seat. So I want to, the other thing I want to test is my temp. You know, we are in the Arctic, so we're, we're, uh, in cold water. I'm using raw water cooling, so a lot of people have been asking this lately on Reddit and whatnot, and struggling to cool their modulars. You can use raw water cooling. Raw water cooling, um, you know, again, I take for granted some of these things people aren't going to, um, aren't going to know what they mean, so I'll try to explain it. So, um, essentially, the way you want to cool an engine normally is you don't want to put salt into the engine. Uh, putting salt into the engine causes corrosion. And so what you'll generally do is you'll use, you know, in real life you'd use some sort of antifreeze or coolant, uh, which is water-based, and you put that through the manifolds of the engine and that uh, takes the heat away. And so what you do in an ocean context um, is you would then um, do a heat exchanger. So you'd now have hot water going through the heat exchanger. It's passing that heat off to the cold water from the ocean, and that ocean water is dumped back into the ocean, therefore stripping heat out of the engine. Uh, you can do raw water cooling, which, for example, a lot of outboards do, or most outboards do, where they draw in seawater, and that seawater goes through the manifold, and that is used to um, cool the engine. The um, You'll get, you can get corrosion where you're taking in salt, which is corrosive, and it is um, essentially corroding the inside of your engine components. That's why often with an outboard, you can plug a hose into it and you can rinse it out, trying to get rid of the salt in there. In game, uh, so it's called scaling. Um, you're building up mineral deposits in there. And so in order to um, fight against scaling, um, or, or in-game, let's consider the way. In-game, scaling does not take place, to my understanding, until you reach 100 degrees Celsius. So until my temperature goes up to 100, my engine will not be damaged by scaling. Okay? So um, if we keep our temperature below 100, we shouldn't have any scaling issues. And that, therefore, we should be fine. All right, so let's... Um, we're going a good speed. We're going about, you know, around 60... 66 to 68 miles an hour. One reason it's jumpy is the, we're going with the waves. The other reason is we're right at the um, RPM limiter. And we're burning through fuel very fast, but we should be good. Um, again, these are all, this is all about testing here. So our temperature, as you can see, our temperature is not going up much. So that's good. So I have to kind of do some dead reckoning. And so what dead reckoning is, is using, um, it's using landmarks and visual reference points to navigate. So let's for a second kind of look at the map and see where we've gone and um, how I know where we are. So um, we came off of Tajan, we came around, we went under here. So if we look at some reference points, uh, we should be able to see the large bridge um, for the um, for one of these here. Uh, we haven't run it run past BBG yet, so we're probably somewhere up in here. And so I'm going to take a south turn, um, and then I should be able to see the volcano. This is how I have confidence that I'll be able to kind of uh, get us where we need to go. So I think that is that, that Tajan over there. So I'm going to take a little bit of, a, of an easterly track here. And so Dead Reckoning is just using reference points and your compass to kind of operate. So, you know, I was... Uh, you know, as a flight instructor, as a commercial airline pilot, you know, especially with flight instructing, um, you know, it was my job to teach people how to how to essentially look out the window, look at reference points, you know, cross-reference with a map, use your instruments to uh, navigate. And so that's kind of what I'm doing here. And so, you know, part of my... I hope that's not... No, that's not ours. That's a different one. Um, so part of... Okay, so like right now, we just got a new reference point. See right there? That is the... Um, that right there is this right here. So we've gone quite a bit um, to the east. So we actually came, I think, inboard too much. So let's go back out. And I could have probably looked at my um, compass and figured that out. But, you know, you want to cons consistently look at reference points. And so one of the things that I used to teach my students when I was flight instructing is, you know, if you look at a map, which we have a map, you know, uh, we call it sectionals, you know, but... Um, because it was sections of the uh, of the landmass, 
If you looked, if you looked down at the map and you saw, usually what we'd use flying was lakes, because the detail on the map was so precise that if a lake had a little, tiny little indentation where there was a little cove, you could see that on the map, and so you could use that cove to kind of t inform where you were. So let's go back to the map really quick here. All right, so we just saw this, and we turned right through the ice field. All right, so now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to start to think of the map um, as a compass. So we're about over here. We could be in here, or I think we could be there. And so we have north, south, east, west, or west, east, rather. And so if we look at this, we'd say we're, uh, we need to go southwest to start getting more. So we need to go west, southwest to get there. So let's start... Um, setting our compass where we want to do. So there's west, southwest, all right, and so we're looking for the volcano, all right, and so one of the things I did, you know, I was kind of, did when I was thinking about what I wanted to take for this mission was, you know, I looked at the sea state, we have nice calm seas, which means I can go, you know, 70 knots in this boat. Um, there's the anti-fly system marking. I could go a nice 70 knots in this boat, and, uh, you know, I also looked, it's not too foggy, so I can visually uh, guide myself without having issues. Just, I'm just looking around for the volcano. You know, so that, that was important to be able to use this. So like I said, like I've you know, talked about before, how I, you know, I'm building different craft based so that they're all essentially useful. Um, you know, this craft is viable in these conditions with, um, you know, with uh, with calm seas and nice visibility. This would not be a great craft if we we're fogged in, uh, because I lose my visual reference points. And so, once you've lost your visual reference points, you can no longer um, navigate by a dead reckoning. So, I, you know, I could put a bearing system in this at some point. Um, so now we have another reference point here. Is that bridge over there? So let's consult our map. I'm just going to quiet the. I'm just going to quiet some sounds down here a little bit so that when I go on the map, it's not too loud. All right, so we have another re re visual reference point. It's way over here, so it's the big bridge over here. All right, so we're looking for this volcano, and I haven't seen it yet. Um, hopefully, you should be seeing it soon. Um, you know, like I was talking about with using um, lakes as reference points. Oh, that's tough to see. You know, when I was talking about using lakes as reference points, what we can use now is we can use icebergs, and the shape of these icebergs is actually um, pretty precise on the map. So you can actually utilize the shape of the icebergs to kind of inform where you're going. So we're, we're heading a little bit more west now. Let's start heading some, a little bit south, and we're looking for the volcano. And so I'm hoping that, you know, once we get close enough, we should be able to see the volcano. And uh, that's going to be that's going to tell us exactly where it was. So that was another reason I chose to take this boat out on this mission. Is you know the volcano island's pretty big. We should be able to see the volcano sooner than later. And that's it right there, as you can see. And so this is dead reckoning. So you know a lot of people, you know, again play how you like. You know they go, they go right to throwing a um, a visual map on there, or they'll you know um, or they'll do this. You know, they'll go ahead up here and they'll put on where they can see their vehicle. Um, again, if you want to do that, that's great. This would be a realistic way to do it with Dead Reckoning. And as you can see, you know, I kind of I went a little bit too far to the east. I went a little bit too far south, and then I found this volcano. And so you can you can find these things with Dead Reckoning. Um, fine in game. It it just takes that skill and that practice, and a lot of its practice is. Being able to look at the shape of an iceberg, um, a part of the ice field, like right here. We're right next to an iceberg. We have a big one over there. Let's look at the map again. So if we look, we have an iceberg off to our left, an iceberg off to our right. So it could be one of these icebergs here. So we could either be here or here probably. I'm thinking we're here because if we look off, it's right about 90 left. If we look 90 left, we have an iceberg. All right. If we're down here, 90 to the left, there's no iceberg. We're pointing at the volcanic island, so we're probably right here. All right, and then if we look up here, we have another iceberg, all right, and that's probably this set of icebergs. So you can actually utilize um, the visual references in game to get you places. Now, 
you know, you, you want to try to cross-reference with your compass. So, if we, like right now, I'm heading um, exactly to the west. So, if I'm heading west, I know that I am east of that. So, um, you know, over, you know, the map I don't think is perfectly north-south. That's part of the issue. But um, it would be nice to have a compass rose on the map to see. All right, so now we're getting close and we can start to um, look for this this. Uh, rescue here. So we're on the um, on this side, so we need to come up to the um, north side, and so we're going to start cutting in to um, towards that side to look for this rescue. You know, and so I, one thing I didn't want to do is, you know, I, I could have taken the Cormorant, and I could have, or I could have taken Katie did. Um, you know, I took this again because I wanted to um, I wanted to test this out and use it, and I also wanted to um, you know, I want to break up break up what I use. You know, I don't like the concept of metas, and I don't like the concept of essentially making a vehicle obsolete. You know, this thing is doing 70 knots, and so one of the reasons I chose to make this so fast is that it um, allows us to do some of these further flung missions um, with a rescue boat um, and get them done quickly. You know, we we have a fire to put out here, which we have a fire extinguisher on ourselves. Um, we also have one on the deck and, you know, so we need to get out to this rescue quickly or else, you know, the people are probably going to be all burned to death before we get there. So we need to get there quickly, which is right there. And so, um, you know, this makes this craft viable. Now we know it's, we know, um, it's, it's weaknesses, right? I have no way to navigate if it's foggy. If the waves were very rough out here. I would not want to take this because my my one of my advantages my the benefits of this vehicle is that it goes 70 knots, which is very fast for a boat. Um, if I have to slow down because of waves, well, we've lost that benefit of having a nice 70 knot boat, so we might as well take something else. So if the weather was poor, that's when we want to take Katie did or the Cormorant. Let's see how close I can get to this ladder. Uh, come, on, come 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 on. I was hoping not to get wet. I got not wet. Ugh. The little victories there, like um, <laughs> not getting wet. You sit here, please. Thank you. All right, let's go down here. Up, up. Excuse me. Excuse me. Don't uh, burn me to death, please. I appreciate that. I really would. All right, so we'd make sure we get this. Um, so I need to find where that is. I think I'm. I'm going to try to hit this from another angle so that I can put this out. There we go. That's going out now. Okay. Oh, come on, come on. Crouch, jump. Crouch, jump, crouch, jump, crouch, jump. All right, there we go. So we got the fire. There's three grand. I think we, it said, I'm stuck in this, in there. All right, so let's get up. I think they said five. Let me check. All right, so pretty quick and easy to put that fire out. We have five. Look at that park job. That's a pretty good park job. I'm pleased with that. All right. And I will... <laughs> I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to try to... Oh, <laughs> I was going to say I'm going to try not to get wet. You know, I like to make little games for myself. See, this could be a problem. Actually, it's, uh, yeah, see, I can't climb up with the, um, with the light bar down. And that light bar is... Um, I can't... And uh, the light bar was supposed to come up, I think, when I um, get on the helm, but I'll have to check it. Um, I might have put it to a key. I cannot remember. Um, Mr. G, who suggested the name for this, the Remora, um, you know, also recommended to put the name on the side. So I think that's what I'll do is I'll put Remora on both sides. I don't... You know, that's not terrible looking, I don't think, but it's not great. So I think I'll do a uh, more, a better image on the side at some point. I know it would be a little bit more hardcore mode, but it would be kind of cool that if you, you know, if you get wet and your clothes get wet, you know, it makes your winter clothes essentially not work anymore for until they dry. Um, you know, so until that, that wet icon goes away, your winter clothes wouldn't work. That would be kind of a little bit of more hardcore. Uh, five. So what do I have? Four in there? Four. Okay, so we're looking for one. I think I just saw them up top there. 
Uh, nope, just the Red Sea is what I saw. Let me just check, make sure there's nobody hiding up here. Okay, where are you at? Yeah, probably on the deck. Yep, on the deck. Okay, good. All right, so we're good to go here with these peeps. Um, so one concern we're going to have here is fuel. Oh, no. Um, is fuel. Um, we used about half of our fuel to get out here. Um, so again, that is a weakness of this craft. Again, I want... Uh, did I pick them up? Maybe it'll just do... Yeah, they're on me. It'll just... Oh, they're... Are they passed out? No. Why? Oh, it says incapacitated. Huh. They're incapacitated and standing up. That's that's funny. Probably not very funny for them, but um, they are incapacitated and standing up. Oh, oh excuse me. Excuse me. That damaged my ship, the uh, fire extinguisher. You're going overboard. See ya. Damaged my ship. Alright. Uh, do I have one on me? No. Alright, what is going on here? I, I'm having issues here. Um, again, it could be with my keyboard. I was having issues with my keyboard here. Okay. Let me see if I can't pick up a character. Okay, I don't know what's up. Um, presently, do I have somebody on me? I do. I have somebody on me. I can't put them in the seats. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of struggling here to figure out what the heck is going on here. I kind of need to... Um, okay, I'm just I'm moving people around here. Oh. moving people around here. I'm having issues here where I um, have something on. I had a person on me and I couldn't put people in the seats. So I'm trying to work through this here. This person's incapacitated theoretically uh, yet standing. So that's interesting. Um, okay, so back to what I was talking about before the circus came to town. Um, see, I can't put these this person on these um, padded seats. This person's causing me... Oh, see, they're incapacitated, too. Okay, I'll do a bug report on that. Um, all right, so... We're all set here. So, back to the... Again, back to my story before the circus came to town. We used up the majority of our fuel over 50% um, to get there. All right, so... This vehicle and every vehicle I make, I want it to have positives and negatives. And so, the positives of this vehicle is it's demon speed. It's very fast. For, for a little boat. Um, and, you know, and I purpose, you know, I could make it more fuel efficiently, fuel efficient. I kind of purposely made it, a, you know, I would say more realistic um, in fuel efficiency. And the reason for that is I want it to have some disadvantages so I don't just, you know, use this all the time. And so we need to get back there. And so what we're going to do is we're going to reduce our, our speed on the way back to try to make sure that we don't burn up all our fuel. And so let's see. Um, we could go to the we could go to the hospital ship, but the issue is going to be this. If we go out to the hospital ship, we have to add this distance and fuel burn um, to getting back to base. We're not going to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to come up here, and we'll go over here. All right. And so we should be able to make that. Fingers crossed. And we'll come in and we'll deliver the people there. We can get diesel here if we need to. Um, but what I'll actually do is I'll buy endo if uh, I need to, and I'll make a jerry can, and I'll bring it out to the boat. But So we're going to head up there, and so the thing we want to do is we want to consult our map, and we want to navigate. So we're going to come back up from here where we are. We're going to come around. We're going to look for these icebergs. We're going to keep those on our, on our port side, and we're going to head up through this channel. That's going to get us pretty much lined up. We know that's going to be uh, northeast, almost perfectly northeast probably. Again, I don't know exactly where north is. It's not perfectly up. And so that will get us started. And so we can dead reckon that. So, so we're going to look at our compass. We're going to start heading northeast. We're going to look for those icebergs. We're going to keep them on our port side. So it's always good to have a navigation plan when you start, when you're dead reckoning. And I'm going to go down. We were going about 70 knots out. I'm going to go about 50 knots back. That should um, hopefully reduce our fuel burn. Now, I'm not... Um, this was a good distance for us. Let's look at the map again. 
we went from up here all the way down. I kind of farted around and went over here too much and then back. Um, and so we've kind of covered this much distance. And so if I could get that much distance uh, forward and backwards, um, a round trip distance, let's put it that way, I'm content with that. I think that is a good, um, that's a reasonable range for this, you know, thinking about um, what I want for range. I'm just kind of looking at, um, I want to see if I put the, what I put the light bar in. So it looks like I didn't hook the light bar up at all. Uh, which is fine. I'll do that. Um, be nice to get that light bar because I can't use the ladder when the light bar is in the down position. So um, it's nice to get a couple things um, on the on the to do list so that it can improve this. So I don't. Uh, so I also don't have a way to refuel this. So we can't refuel. Um, so that's going on the list. So let's start making the list. So what I tend to like to do is I I do a Google Drive of all of my builds and then that way it makes it really easy to have a checklist and uh, and do that so let's make a new one for this should have searched if I made one already okay I did make one for Remora already alright so let's go ahead and I'll, I'll show you my list here so this is the uh, Remora so I need to add refueling okay uh, fix light bar. All right, so we have those on there. Fix light bar, add refueling. So we'll start with that, and then as I consider more things, we'll do that. All right, so we want to keep those icebergs on our port side. We're coming up to this iceberg over here, so let's consult our map again. See, we got more incapacity of people sitting in seats. Very strange this behavior. So this is that iceberg there. We want to keep that to our right, and then we want to make our way through these two. And so we're still burning a good bit of fuel here. Um, and so what I might do is trade off some speed for some fuel efficiency. Um, or I could increase fuel capacity. These are all things to consider. Um, I like to get... I don't need a ton more range out of this, but I want a little bit more range out of this boat. And so that's all done with gearing. You know, currently these this thing has enormous engines in it. They're they are really oversized, and part of that was I put them in there in case I wanted to make them smaller. Uh, I'm just checking our electricity. All right, so that's another thing is electricity needs to. Um, we're not recharging enough, which. Um, so we need to. Um, we are discharging. So we need to make it so that we are charging, um, you know, when we're at a reasonably high uh, level here. So we need to also do, put this to my list. So discharging electricity, we need to worry about that. As you can see, it's not really too bad. We're only down 80% battery, but um, we could run into problems uh, later on, you know, if we're going on a longer mission. So fuel efficiency, we need to really um, look at. All right, fuel efficiency, uh, remora on the side, remora on the side, uh, the name badge. All right, so these are all some things to do. Um, all right, so we want to pick our way between these two icebergs here, and then we want to consult our compass again. We're headed uh, more east of northeast, so we want to probably come a little bit more uh, towards the um, north. What I'm going to do is, since we're in an active mission and since we're in the testing phase, um, if I get, if we run out of fuel, I will just put on infinite fuel, and that will, um, you know, again, I consider this the testing phase. Um, you know, the other thing I could do is put a permanent jerry can on here. Um, and so by jerry can, you know, I, I thought that was kind of a universal um, term, but a lot of people uh, didn't know what jerry can. A jerry can is essentially just a portable fuel container, so like a little uh, a gas can or a diesel can, you know. And so, um, you know, it's I've made them before to rescue Brigeau where you could have um, a little can you fill up with diesel and then swim out and then go attach it, and uh, it would fill. So that's something that... Um, 
you know, that's something that I want to work on. So let's continue our dead reckoning here. So as you can see, we are perpendicular to the rail line. So we are coming up perpendicular to the rail line. So we probably want to head north more. And that we cross-reference our compass. And that's exactly right. We are headed more east. So we want to head more north. And so it's a little bit easy to get lost in this ice field. Um, a lot of the icebergs look the same. As you can see, we're just absolutely destroying fuel. Um, you know, so that's something we need to consider is the fuel efficiency of this. And that's to be most expected because, you know, this boat's just so fast. Um, so we have a good, we have a reasonable bit of buoyancy. We're not, you know, overly rich on buoyancy. We could also add fuel. So we can actually do a couple things. I can try to change the gearing a little bit to drop our speed a hair to gain some efficiency. Um, I can also... Um, increase the fuel so by doing a couple steps I can you know you know if I wanted to do it all with gearing I'd probably lose quite a bit of speed to get the efficiency um, so I can kind of do it both ways where I increase fuel and um, increase efficiency at the same time and then I I won't have to lose as much speed but you know these are two supercharged I forget what they are they're 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 very large engines so those large engines are really um, really thirsty and I kind of wanted this to be thirsty is um, I you know I wanted this to be I want this to have plenty of negatives you know um, I wanted to you know again have reason to take this out over other things and take other things out over this and so that's kind of um, you know the thought process is is um, doing this so that you know we have these um, different vehicles that have different strengths and weaknesses to them you know, I think it's kind of boring having just using the same vehicle all the time because it's the best at everything. Just kind of, kind of weak sauce. All right, so we're now parallel to the um, rail bridges. Actually, I think, I think I screwed that up a little bit. I definitely did. That's the uh, that's the turn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn back. And so uh, if you see, you see our curves there. So we have a curve. And then we have the main bridge, and so what I'm going to do is go into the map, and we'll kind of um, we'll look at our map here. So we have a curve, and then a main bridge. So I, this is the main bridge. So we're going over here. So we were heading more north than we needed to be, but actually, if you look, we should be able to work our way through this iceberg, to take a little bit of a right, and head right in there. All right. So we have this iceberg, and actually, you can see in the distance, there's the main island. So. Um, You know, it would. Um, you know, if, if if the conditions were really bad, say we had a mission um, and we we're out on Triton. Um, let's say the the waves were a bit rockier, or rockier. The the waves were um, a little bit uh, more choppy. Um, it was foggy. Um, you know, it, not necessarily foggy, but let's say the waves were a lot choppier. Uh, we'd probably more want to take out the lifeboat. The lifeboat would be a better choice because, you know, this this really the benefit of this is I need a pretty calm sea state in order to make it um, worth my while to take this boat. This boat's whole point is speed, and so uh, and also, you know, we have to worry about. I don't. I think this will self right, but we have to worry about rolling over as well. Where the lifeboat, we don't really have to worry about that. So, you know, it's it's nice to have different different craft for different uh, reasons. All right, so we're coming up here. Um, I wonder how this mission is going to end, too, because these are people are showing incapacitated. So that's a bug. I will do a bug report live on this video, and um, you guys can go and you can support it if you like. I want to make a video of all the things that I want to, um, you know, of all the feature requests. And if people want to support them, they can. So I kind of want to come up with a list of feature requests and put that on there. Um, you know, try to get people to move towards the bug reporter, which is the official place to report bugs and to ask for feature requests. So we're coming up on this peninsula here. You can see the peninsula. And so we're, um, you can also, if you wanted to zoom in, you can see that bridge there is this bridge there. So you constantly, if you're dead reckoning, you constantly want to cross check um, the visual landmarks you see with your map and your compass. And by doing this constant cross check as you can see it was pretty easy for me to go navigate around the Arctic um, without any sort of moving map or anything.
And so this is a little bit steep. Um, let's go over here to the left a little bit. Um, not 100%. I can climb up that face. This one I should be able to climb up here. So, All right. So we are still a oh, casualty died. So uh, looks like they're dying and they're not. Um, looks like that is all funky. So as you can see, none of them look dead to me. Yep. See that one just said deceased. I think. Yeah, see, they're all dying now. I don't know why they're dying. Um, yeah, I don't I don't know what's up with this. So there's a bug. All right, so again, uh, this bug, do a bug report. I'm just going to um, no clip here, and I'm going to get them all thrown in the drinky poo here. I'm going to get them all thrown on deck to start with. Okay, that one's crouching. Oh no, don't you dare. I was going to say they were, um, I don't want to glitch something else in. See, that one's deceased, so very strange. Um, so we have some strange behavior going on here, and, um, you know, two died, so that makes sense that it was those two. I'm just going to, I'll throw them in the drink here in a second. Um, but, uh, yeah, so there's certainly some bug that, um, is in there. These people are going to freeze to death here. Oh, come on, man. This one dope not following me. Come on, man. That was a me problem. They were um, too close to each other, and so I just... It wasn't a game problem. That was a me forgetting to click him, but getting annoyed that I forgot to click him. So I have to worry... And, you know, one of the reasons I was a little bit annoyed was that I'm kind of worried these people are going to freeze to death on the run over to the hospital, and then I'm going to have to pick them up. And so um, I don't have the defib on me, so they're just going to end up um, becoming entombed in ice at this point. Um, but yeah, so this uh, good little test with the Remora. Um, the range is not bad. You know, that was quite a bit of navigating, quite a bit of uh, distance for a small boat. Um, you know, also... You know, without having a bunch of advanced navigation equipment, um, I don't want to go too far with that boat. So, um, you know, that was a pretty reasonable little test. And again, you can see how pretty quickly in a career you can figure career game you can figure out um, uh, you can uh, you can start to see what uh, what deficits your vehicles have and what you need to do. So. Like I was saying, if I had a jerry can, I could fill up there, um, fill the can up. So I might put a jerry can on there, and that might be not necessarily my solution, but part of my solution for having uh, fuel issues on this boat is um, have a can. And so what I could have done is brought the can with me, filled the can up, and then on, you know, I end up bringing the can back and then putting some fuel back in the tanks, you know, enough to get back to base, essentially. So. I think that would be kind of cool having a um, a jerry can on board. It would be cool to have a jerry can block, um, kind of in in one of those like a uh, you know one of those slots where like we put a fire extinguisher and you have a a fuel canister and you can attach it to something. But uh, that would be a feature request. There it is. Okay, so these pe people are quote unquote um, the Walking Dead at the moment. So we have some zombies here, some zombies. And I'm going to fly up there just because I don't want to glitch in the side of the boat. All right, and so you people are deceased. You're going right in the drink. All right. If you're going to be dead, you're going to be dead. Why can I not put this person in the drink? So a little bit of weird NPC behavior going on here. Um, so if we look, uh, I want to get navigating again. So right there is the hangar for Tajin. So... The distances in Stormark are really not that bad. Um, you know, a lot of people think the distances are pretty vast. I understand that, but it's like, you know, you can fly, you know, at a, at a you know, sub 200 knots, and you can get from Spy Cakes to the Arctic in 15 minutes. That's pretty short. You know, 200 knots is not fast. You know, put it in perspective. Um, you know, airspeed coming out of, um, you know, when I was in... When I was flying for the airlines, our airspeed coming out of an airport under 10,000 feet was 250 knots. 
you know, our, our max speed was, you know, 320 indicated, but we do say 500 something uh, ground speed. Um, you know, so going sub 200 knots and it only takes you 15 minutes to get to um, the farthest flung areas. You know, you're talking about the new the new area, which I'm very excited for. I think this update is going to be awesome. This is something I'm very much looking forward to. This is very much what I was hoping the update was going to be. I really, I still would love fishing, but this is actually my preferred um, update is this overfishing. Um, you know, that is going to be, let's say it's equidistant from Spy Cakes to um, the Arctic, at, uh, but to the south. That would mean going from the Arctic to um, to the new arid biome at about 200 knots would probably take you 30 minutes. Um, that's not unreasonable. I think think that's a you know that's a reasonable distance. I think that would be f that would be fun to have some distance. So as you can see, we made it back on the fuel. We don't have a ton of fuel. We have two gallons, but we went a long way. So I'm actually not really all that inclined to add. Um, some more fuel to this. Oh, I missed the ladder. Um, I'm not really all that inclined to add more fuel to this. This is actually pretty good on fuel, I'm thinking. I think what I will add, though, is um, a jerry can. I think that would be fun. Um, to, all right, so see these here? These need to go on to the... I actually attach this one. This is just not connected but via electricity. And so I have plenty of seat nodes. Let me see what's actually... Um, What's turning this? So that is this microcontroller here. I don't want that to be blank. I want that to have a name. We'll make that light bar. And so we'll just finish up with me uh, doing a little bit of um, micro work here. Okay, so it's on occupied. I don't really want it on occupied, I think. And part of. Uh, yeah, I want to make it so that I have to raise it. Um, Okay, so see, I actually made it channel 2 anyways. It wasn't on there. Um, so channel 2 shouldn't be occupied. That should say seat or helm. Helm. Okay, so I already made it channel 2. I think, yeah, channel 2 is fine. Let me make sure that um, I labeled that. So channel 2 is going to be light bar. Okay, so that's on there. Um, that fixes that. So let's go through the actual... Did I close the list? I probably did. Nope, here it is. Okay, so let's look at the list. So we have um, fixed light bar. Um, okay, so let's next go and... Let's check out... Uh, we need refueling. So let's find where my fuel tanks are up in the nose. Do I have a ton of space? I don't have a ton of space to put... Um, refueling port anywhere other than the back here. Let's try right here. Uh, what's that? I'm trying to see right where my fuel comes in. Okay, so this is my ref this is my fuel here. So I can go anywhere, um, anywhere here. Let me try right here, I think. And I'll put a hose anchor here. All right, and so often yellow is the color for a diesel tank. Um, uh, so actually, that works perfectly. Look at that, beautiful. I thought that might uh, have issues. Um, and let's see, I want pipe. Do one of these here, and then. Make sure symmetry's off. Symmetry's off. Perfect. All right, so that now we have um, the ability to refuel this, John. All right, so that is good. Uh, let's make a jerry can. So I think that would kind of add a cool element that I actually have to jerry can this sucker. And so let's do that. Um, Trying to think how to do it. Attaching it. You know, I, I don't want to make it too big. That's the issue. Um, Let's not worry about that right now. Um, that's going to have issues attaching it. I wonder if the people were warm enough. I think they were. I don't know why they died. They were all, they were a little bit glitchy there with um, being incapacitated and still walking around and, and all those issues. 
All right, so let's bring back up the list. If I can find it, there it is. Okay. Uh, remore on the side. Fuel efficiency, discharge, add refueling is done. Okay, so discharge and electricity. Let's look at that. So I need to figure out why I'm not making enough electricity. So I have an alternator on there. Um, I have two alternators. And that is not enough to make the electricity that I'm using. I should not be using enough electricity using a ton of electricity so I'm thinking I might not have them connected and that appears to be it so as you can see the alternators are not connected that's my issue so what I want to do is I want to take my alternators and I want to go to the master power and that will allow them only to recharge when my master power is on so I just forgot to connect them that fixes that problem because I was gonna say we're not using any electricity really we don't we have you know very minimal lighting we should, you know, the engines are running up at a reasonably high RPS. We shouldn't have an issue with that. So that should be fixed. Fuel efficiency, I'm not going to worry about. Um, we, we actually went a good distance on the fuel we had. And, and again, I want my vehicles to have drawbacks so that I realize, okay, this vehicle can't do this mission. I have to take a different vehicle. Otherwise, you know, it does every mission. Then why use something different, you know? And so... Um, I'm going to keep the fuel efficiency where it is. Let's go ahead and let's um, let's work on. Uh, no, let's not do that. Let's go ahead and work on the name here. And again, Mr. G had suggested that that's a good name for it. So let's go. I, I use Paint.net. Let me grab that. All right. So I want Magneto. Magneto was the was what Vrijo has for a and uh, Triton has for a font. Oh, I just just had it and I moved. Okay, and so Okay, so Remora and I'm trying to think. So let me look. I want to figure out how many blocks I kind of want to occupy with this. So, um space-wise, what I think I'm going to do is put it here. And so what I want is about uh, let's say a maximum of nine blocks. Okay. So let's go back into this. Um, every time they update windows, it makes me pull my hair out. They change a bunch of stuff that I hate. All right. So I'll make... Uh, all right. So I have a bunch of... Um, I have a bunch of name badges for Remora already. And so I just keep copying over them here until I figure out the one I want because I don't need a ton of duplicates. There's right. Remora, Remora, and that's Remora. And then I want nine blocks max. Let's um, upload that. Okay, so that's made. All right, let me uh, grab that. Uh, all right. And so I'm just uh, putting that, f I'm just putting that file into the um, vehicles folder and then all right, so that's in there, so we should be able to grab this. So let me go ahead and save this as Remora. All right, All right I'm going to load up. Um, did that not, I just put that in there. Did it not go in? All right. Try to figure out what's going on here. I'm just screwing around with um, trying to get this moved. Oh my God, Windows! Windows is just—they can't—they can't leave things alone. They have to keep changing things. That drives me nuts. There we go. Uh, what is going on here? I can't. Oh my God, Windows! Yeah, Windows did an update the other day, and they 
they love to just change absolutely everything and then they think that's cute okay there we go frustrating 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 Let's see if I can't open it up there it is right here it just it was being an absolute pain to Okay, so see, this screwed it all up. Um, so, um, okay, so if you get in a problem like this, see how it's oversized um, and it cut it off? That What I can do to fix that is... Let me see if I can hand edit it so that it's not bad. No, I don't think so. Uh, let me do this. Let's do it again. Um, so the remora here is too big. Um, you can't see what I'm doing here. The remora here is too big, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, do image. We'll resize it uh, by percentage. I want, let's say, 85% of the value. File, save that. All right, and now let's go back into Tajin's tool. And then usually you have to actually open this again. Sometimes it misbehaves if you don't do that. Remora. So keep it at nine blocks. Upload that, and then I'll go through all this crap again. Okay. All right. Where's my other folder? Okay. Clicking on all the wrong folders here. There we go. All right, and so we should be able to open this right back up and check the new one. So let's uh, open up the new one here. Yeah. That's better. It's not really putting it where I want it, but um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand edit it. I think it has most of it. This is super annoying that it's doing this, that it's like cutting it off. But I'm going to hand draw this anyways, and so... Um, yeah, let me just paste that. All right, so it's going to be, uh, it's chosen to be annoying today. You know, all it has to do is move up a little bit and it would be better, but um, I'm actually not, you know what, that looks fine the way it is. Um, I don't like the, um, I don't like you know, all the different colors, so I'm going to fix that, but um, what I will do is, I think right there is good. All right, and then I'll just hand uh, fix it a little bit. All right, so I'll just quickly do um, color swap. These can all be deleted. Um, put in a regular box can be replaced for them all right and so let's just start coloring here I think this color is good here so uh, I did color swap I meant to paint okay good And so just uh, fix this up, give this a little bit of color, and that should be good for um, having a new name badge that I think is a little bit better. Yeah, so I think this is a good idea for Mr. G to put on the side. Yeah, so often, you know, you want to go back and just hand paint this just to add a little bit more contrast they tend to be a little bit um, you know if you're doing something huge it doesn't look too bad but sometimes the smaller stuff looks a little bit wonky so you kind of have to go back and hand paint it a little bit which still it's a help you know I, I, I can't really freehand very well so that's an M so kind of forgot what letter that was for a second there I had to kind of check it All right, get the O. Oh, that's too much in the O. Oh. Actually, that kind of looks good. Um, heck. 
That's better there. And the R. Okay. Just kind of seeing how I want this R to look there. That's looking pretty good. It's kind of a fancy um, looking paint job, or fancy looking lettering, so it kind of needs to get it looking well. And then the A. Okay, good. Yes, yeah, so that came out pretty well, I think. All right, and now I'll just uh, go back and I'll kind of get rid of a bunch of this nonsense, and I think this will look good, and then I'll just copy this one and put it on the other side. Um, I think this is an improvement. I think it was just, you know, too small of an area to be um, trying to put it. You know, so this will be more uh, a little bit more area, uh, larger so that you have better definition of the um, thing. So I think uh, this was a good mission. Um, you know, I wanted to get a good test in with this. As you can see, we are able to complete the mission. We had that glitch, which, um, you know, quickly I'll go on and put on a bug report um, and I'll link it so that if you guys want to go and um, support that bug report that um, you know since you just go in there and you start it and that will tell the devs that hey this bug is in the game and the more support a bug gets the more likely they're to hit it you know they're not playing the game all day and so a lot of these bugs you know they're not going to see and if they can't reproduce them you know they can't figure out why is this bug happening and fix it so um, you know by us putting in bug reports and showing where the issues are that lets them um, that lets them go in and fix the issues so um, I recommend people you know if, if you see a bug report like that go ahead and um, and support it and I'll actually show you how to do that as well all right, so there's Remora there. Let's go ahead and um, delete that. Put in regular block here. I'll paint the back side so I don't have to do that. All right, so that's in. And so let's just grab this and we'll do that bug report. And I think we'll be done. All right, so let's copy that. And let's move this one over here. And paste that. I think that looks pretty uh, spiffy. You know, I'd like it if I, was, oh, I have some paint issues here. Um, yeah, I think it would be nice if... I forgot my train of thought. Because I'm doing two things at once. Okay. Try to see if there's any more errors here. Don't think so. I think we're pretty good. Yes, yeah, so that looks good. Uh, let's get rid of this one here. I kind of like the ladder on the side. I did that as well so that I'd have my, my rear nav light there. So um, that's not something I want to change. So I think it was a good mission. This um, showed the capabilities of this. Despite us, um, you know, potentially running into some issues with fuel, we made it, you know, and that was a good distance. You know, I have no problem with this distance. This distance was fine. Um, you know, it, I might make a jerry can that I can that I can leave on here or something, or um, you know, if need be, I can go rescue this boat. But um, you know, again, this is meant to run off the home ship, so uh, off Triton. So let's go ahead and let's save this to Remora backup, and I'm actually going to take Remora nameplate and just going to get rid of it because I'm not um, not going to use that one again. I'll copy it off of there if I needed it. And so let's go ahead and let's um, save. Um, we'll do the backup. All right, so now we are up to date on that. Let's go ahead and I'm going to uh, exit to the main menu. And we'll go ahead and we'll do that uh, bug report. You know, um, I, I definitely recommend go and, and, and do these bug reports. So up top you see bug request and features. And then it pops up uh, a uh, uh, window, and then um, you can click on Stormworks. It's also a direct link. Um, and so in here you can do that. So you want to do defects, features, closed. So you want to go to defects. You want to do, um, I would recommend read the first page really quick. Just look really quick. Um, we're in defects and people are doing feature requests. Put feature request and feature request. As you can see, 
Um, you know, people often complain, oh, the devs just closed my thing. Yeah, some some of them they shouldn't be closing, or they should, you know, probably tell you why. But um, as you can see, people are putting the wrong features in there. You might get something closed because you didn't put it in the right tab. So put it in the right tab as well. Uh, legs. So I'm just looking really quick to make sure somebody else didn't already have one. Because if somebody already has one, it's better for me to go support that one than for me to make my own and then end up, um, you know, so you have two that, let's say you have two that have 500 people supporting them. Um, it might be better if you had one that had 1,000 people supporting because it's, the devs can see it uh, better. Okay, let's go. So I'm just filling this out really quick. So I'm just trying to make it as specific as possible so that they knew what's up. All right, so pretty simple, um, pretty simple uh, bug on there. So let's put that on there. So again, make sure it's a defect, not a feature. Um, all right, let's go in there. Let's submit that. All right, so if you if you want to go on and support this bug fix, you all saw this bug. Go on there, look for it. Incapacitated and deceased NPC still standing. The number is one four one eight one. All right, so here I'm actually going to copy this. And um, I'll put the link on the video so you can click on that and you should be able to go here. Come on here. You'll see a star. Click the star. The more stars this has, the more likely they're to see it. So, again, if you feel like going on there and doing that, um, that's um, how you do it. If you have it in your own game, reply. Um, you know, can also had this in my game or saw this in somebody else's game. And that lets the devs know, okay, you know, we have 200 people having this problem. This is something we need to address. If it was one person, they might say, well, you know, we can't put the resources in that or, you know, we can't reproduce it. So we don't know what was up. Maybe it was something wrong with your game file. If you have 200 people, you know, it's probably not something with that person's individual game file. It's probably something with the, the game at large. So uh, keep that in mind. So I'll put that on the video as well. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this episode. I enjoyed taking out Remora. Um, I always love a new vehicle. Um, you know, kind of my design philosophy, again, is I don't want any vehicle that does everything perfectly. I want vehicles that do certain things well and other vehicles that, um, you know, do different things well. And that way it gives me a reason to have five vehicles sitting on, on Triton instead of just, oh, Another Katie demission. Oh, another Katie demission. Um, it really gives you some reason to use other vehicles. So I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a like. If you have yet to subscribe and you like my content, please consider subscribing, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.